Good evening, my name is Leslie Dill and I'm going to read a story for you today. The title of the story I'm reading is called Louie's Big Day. Louie's Big Day. This is written by Maria Morgan. Looks like it has something to do with a lawnmower. Let's see. Which you might know that we did a video about lawnmowers. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this will tie in with that other video. Yeah. Okay. Today was his big day. Louie, the lawnmower, was a little anxious. He hadn't slept a wink last night. Over and over, he practiced rolling in a straight line until he bumped into the garage door with a bang. His people called it mowing, but Louie had heard it was like eating. His stomach got a little queasy as he thought about eating for the first time. Would he like grass? What would it taste like? Would the smell of grass make him sneeze? Louis had just come to his new home from the hardware store yesterday. It had been hard leaving all his friends in the lawn care section. Eddie Edger, Bobby Blower, Terry Trowell, and his best friend, Ruthie Rake. He closed his eyes and smiled, remembering all the pranks he and his pal had played when the lights went out at the end of the day. There was the time Bobby Blower was feeling mischievous and blew all the gardening gloves off their display stand. What? They had spent the rest of the night helping all 100 pairs of gloves back onto their hooks. How could he forget the night Eddie Edger and Ruthie Rake snuck off to the next aisle and made scary scratching noises that made him and the others scream with fright? He was pretty proud of the time he had gotten Henry Hose to spray the others while they were fast asleep. Yes, the, the, those, had, sorry, yes, those had been fun days. Today was different. Louis the lawnmower was by himself. He missed his friends, but he had a job to do. The door opened and out walked his people. The man was ready to mow. The lady was going to the store. Louis liked the way the gas felt as it sloshed down into his tank. It made him feel full of energy. Once he was pushed out into the grass, Louis forgot all about being nervous. He glided across the grass in straight lines, munching all the way. Grass was great. It tasted amazingly good. He didn't sneeze a single time while mowing the entire lawn. Here he's thinking, ah, love the smell of grass. It tastes so good. This is what I've been made to do, thought Louis, as the man pushed him back into the garage. Mowing grass was fun. If only I could tell my friends about my adventure, sighed Louis. Just then, the lady returned from the store. She pulled into the garage and opened the trunk. What she pulled out of the trunk made Louie sputter with delight. I wonder what got pulled out of the trunk. What do you think? Let's find out. His friends smiled back at him. Edgy Edger, Bobby Blower, Terry Trowell, Henry Hose, two pairs of gardening gloves, and his best friend, Ruthie Rake. 
Now we can finish the yard, said the lady. That afternoon, as Louis the lawnmower rested and waited patiently for all of his friends to return to the garage, he couldn't help but smile. Aw, now all, him and all his friends are together. Louis was happier than ever. He loved to munch grass, and he couldn't wait to make new memories with his friends. The end. Hope you liked that book, everybody. Hope you liked the story. Have a great night. Good night. Bye.